sort of variations on they're waiting to see what happens to the whole thing with Lindholm is if he signs, he wants the team to be competitive. Um, if the Flames are making move, if the Flames, either way, I think the Flames are going to be very busy between now and July 1st. Because regardless of whether or not you've got time until like potentially even as far down the road as the deadline uh, next year in 2024, um, the Flames need to learn from the uh, they need to learn from the Goudreau situation and not get stuck there. Because if they get if they go into the season and they're they're at least competitive or competing for a playoff, but maybe it's just even just of a wild card, are they really going to sell? You can't dump line? three or three or twelve forwards if you're competing. Exactly right. So if you're gonna it, if they're making a they're, they're, they have to make a decision this summer. And right now, when everyone, when all the GMs are in a city, um, that's usually when when a lot of the, the 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 work gets done. They have to take advantage of that. They have and not to only make that, a decision. Lindholm and Hannafin have really great contracts. So for a cap that's only going up a million bucks, I think you could get a premium just because of what those guys have left. The the number one hinge point in all of this is Lindholm uh, as far as the direction of the flames go, as far as I'm concerned, um, Hannafin, I, it feels like, yeah, that, that was, that was a, uh, the topic of conversation even before the, the potential of Backlund and Lindholm going and to Foley potentially going, uh, you know, it, it's, it's very interesting to 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 be a Flames fan right now because you're you're wondering what the direction of the, of, of the franchise is going, and if I, I've had <laughs> I've had a long time to really think about it, and the, the more that I think about it, it's I think it's time to to take a step back and and uh, sell these players for the future. Uh, as far as uh, the, the trajectory of the, the potential building, uh, that isn't official yet, but we're hoping it's going to be official soon. And, you know, the, this 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 draft is potentially going to be another 2003 draft, and that's the, what, what it's projected to be. So if we're going to get a maybe three first rounders, potentially for a, uh, we already have our first rounder, but uh, trading hand Finn away for a first rounder, trading Lindholm for a first rounder. Uh, I, I think it, it, if I am Craig Conroy, I, I got to take a step back and be okay. Well, are my three top guys that aren't going to be here next year or four top guys that aren't going to be here potentially next year uh, don't want to sign. Why, why not look at that potential opportunity to, uh, capitalize on on this uh, draft capital in the, this draft class. 